Hi my friends, Sia here with MTK and RB. And on Mondays we talk about things that maybe you should try, things that don't fit into our other playlists. And this time we're going to school. Tacos, correspondence school of wizardry, cantrips, and other magics. We're going to open. Read Here. this first. To ensure nothing goes absolutely terribly wrong, please okay. verify you have received all of your one-of-a-kind Tacos Correspondence School for Wizardry, Cantrips, and Other Magics practical participation parts. In this box, you will find packing list. You are reading this now. Okay. Lesson mm -hmm. folder, orange feather. Lesson folder, green labyrinth. Lesson folder, blue flish. Lesson folder, purple wrench. Lesson folder, red fireball. What? After you have confirmed all relevant items are included, please open the oriental book labeled welcome. The one thing we didn't have was the welcome book. Mistakes happen, but thanks to YouTube, we found the ruins. We that found the ruins, so. so. The stone of far speech. Each senses your presence and vibrates. Greetings, treasured student. Welcome to my uh, tacos correspondent school for wizardry, cantrips, and other stuff. You caught me in the middle of one of my glamorous adventures, the sort that would eat you alive in your current larval wizard state. Prepare your mind to be flooded with the ancient, forbidden, reasonably priced secrets of the arcade as I envelop you in... My mystical cocoon, and you emerge as a butterfly of... I'm going to eat you wizard stuff, okay? There's a bunch of lessons and activities in the folders. You can learn magic as you do them, and it's going to be great. great. Also, you need to do them in order, starting with order. the orange feather, because if you don't, I'll know, and I'll <laughs> set them all on fire with my mind. <laughs> okay, I probably won't do that, but it'll ruin my lesson plan, so don't be a jag about it. Go ahead and get cracking on lesson one. It's the folder in front of you with the orange feather on it. Orange Talk feather. soon. Orange feather. In the first envelope, there's obviously a little bit about the lesson. Language for wizards. This lesson involves a careful examination of language as a tool for communication. Primary emphasis is on comprehension and translation basics. This is a practical necessity for all students of magic and should be used as a beginner's guide or as a refresher for apprentices. Refresh yourself with the elven language and then use it to decipher the null scratchings. Utilize your greater knowledge to solve the riddle. Doors open by the elvish spell of no Noel Shaman. Share the solution with Taco on the Stone of Far Speech. You did a hint, right? The first line of the Elvish poem is to eat to sleep, which right. makes sense since that's the title. Alright, so we do all the T's. T -t 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 -t. What words have P A blank S L E blank? Everybody knows Parsley. this one. It's gonna be the same. This will be a P. You wanna see? Maybe right below it, any of these ones as a piece. I think we have a version of that elf poem. Some of the words don't really make sense. No, like froth. So what do you have here? I think we have the Noel saga. We have a start of a key here, this question at the bottom, a word that's the same for elvish and Noel. And so that helped us between both of them start looking at the translation and we had done the elvish poem and we started to work on the knoll and as you can see the letters that we knew for sure are written out like just solid letters and the letters we were assuming at the time based on what we thought the words were we kind of put in circles so that we knew when going through it to say like oh this word doesn't make sense with an m but the m is a questionable so maybe the m we deciphered the m wrong that was sort of the logic so we could sort of figure out what letters we could change and which ones we couldn't really. The first part of the challenge was to translate these two elements that were given to us, right? And then the last step is... Utilize your greater knowledge to solve the riddle. Doors open by the elvish spell of Noel Shaman. So Shaman is somebody that calls rain, and it's talking about it calling rain in the Storm saga. Barber. Carthu calls rain from the sky. Translate this word into this language. We think. We think. If it is this this word. Got it? Taco, you solved the riddle! Woo! I could have gone through the door if I brought a few more axes. Yes, yes. Taco save the day again. Scoot on through, friends. Check the traps. Be real thorough. Okay. 
Okay, people, here's the deal. This may shock you. You may want to sit down, but the magic riddle door was real. Whoa. We got a letter from the mayor of refuge, and we're trying to recover a cache of diamonds from an ancient mine. Oh, look! I'm a maze! Hey, Taco, sh should we go left or right? Well, people, it looks like we're already lost, so go ahead and crack open that envelope with the green maze on it. All right. Okay, puzzle so one wait. has been solved. Okay. We took on the challenge of the orange feather. We looked online for elven alphabet and noble alphabet just to see if it would help and nothing matched. And so, yes, we did go in for the first hint and the first hint was the first line of the elvish poem to eat to sleep. And so from that, we started to create this key of a common word between Noel and Elvin that helped with both cases. We did the same activity with this saga and then had to use the information from the saga to solve the riddle, which we did. So it was the first lesson on language, language for wizards. What did you guys think? It was fun. Nice. It was challenging, it was, but it was interesting and fun. Wasn't really what I was expecting. No. When you're reading the instructions and said, yeah, you're gonna have a basic understanding of process of transliteration and elven language. And I thought, oh no. We were actually stumped at first because we didn't really know where to begin. But actually once we get into it, and although we really condensed this video down, like it, we didn't we film been, everything that we were working on. It, it took us like a total of two As you can tell, hours, we're in like minutes. next yeah, day clothing. Yeah, next day. <laughs> it took us over into two, day two. I wouldn't necessarily think of it as linguistic. I guess it was like a linguistic puzzle, but it was also sort of a pattern. Because as you found what you thought was one letter in a word, mm -hmm. you then kind of repeated it down throughout and then felt if it fit or not. And we still have four more challenges. That was our first lesson in tacos. Correspondence school for wizardry, uh, for wizardry cantrips, and other magics. Yes. So our first lesson on language. So we're now ready to go into our second lesson, which is, you can see from the symbol, the green maze. So you can find us here on Mondays talking about things to try, items that don't fit into our other playlists. Yeah. Like taking like. a correspondence course in wizardry. If you like this content, like see more content like it, be sure to give it a little thumbs up. Lesson. Remember to subscribe and press the bell icon so you can be notified when the other parts of our video are uploaded. We share the other lessons individually from the correspondence yes. school, so be sure to subscribe. Now. Until next time. Until next time. Three, Three to, to beam, beam out. out. Woo. Woo.